What's going on guys and welcome to the video. So this video is gonna be a typical day in the lifestyle vlog, but I also wanna answer the question of what's the difference between a soccer specific functional gym routine and a gym routine that's just kind of more like bodybuilding or not soccer specific. So if you just wanna see the answer to that question, go ahead and skip here. Uh, but if you wanna stick around and watch the vlog, then please do so. So welcome to the video. see what we can see in the uh, in the coffee readings for today I'm seeing a fat genie from Aladdin a heart and two dots <laughs> I don't know what that means also gonna go with um, some Greek yogurt strawberry flavored and then I have an orange raspberries and then four eggs are cooking up right now. The last thing that I do before I head out to training is that I'm going to take a multivitamin and this brings me to the sponsor of today's video ritual. Do you guys have the perfect diet every single day of your life? Probably not, and me neither. These two easy to take capsules provide 10 nutrients to support a strong foundation for your health. There are tons of different multivitamins out there, but I choose to take Ritual for two main reasons. The first is that they're completely transparent about where they source their high quality ingredients from. The Essential for Men Daily Vitamin contains 10 high quality nutrients such as vitamin A, vitamin D, omega-3, and zinc that are difficult for many guys to get through diet alone. And they don't use any fillers, colorants, or shady additives. And secondly, it's their commitment to making their products as sustainably as possible. Every single bottle uses 100% recycled materials, the mailers use recycled newsprint and plant fibers, and even the ink is plant-based. They also use algal oil instead of fish oil, which on average helps save 273 anchovies per bottle. I'm using the Essentials for Men Daily Multivitamin, but they have vitamins out there for everybody. They have a multivitamin for women, a 50 plus, a prenatal, a postnatal, and they even have vitamins for teenagers. They're vegan friendly, sugar free, non-GMO, gluten free, and allergen free. It's only a dollar a day to have 10 high quality nutrients shipped directly to your door every single month. No strings attached, no extra charge. If you guys are interested in filling in the gaps in your diet with Essentials for Men, a small step that helps promote a healthy foundation for your body, then Ritual are offering 10% off your first three months by going to ritual.com slash elite10 and using my discount code elite10 at checkout. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. I right, just about ready to head off to training. I'm actually running a little bit late, so I gotta go. What's that? Oh, I thought it was a coffee machine. No, no. <laughs> oh, dang it. What is it? It's a hand mattress. For who? It's a hand mattress. I thought you were gonna bring Jerome a coffee machine. Hey, I thought Rodrigo was bringing you a coffee machine. Uh, it's not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Gustavo? How you doing? Pretty good, bro. You? Not too bad.
just back from training right now. It was, it was short, sharp, pretty light to be honest because tomorrow we have like an intra-squad scrimmage. So um, this is like a pre-game type training. So we're only out there for like an hour 15 and did some crossing and finishing at the end and stuff. Uh, I am gonna make lunch. They gave us lunch after training, but it was just a salad. I, I've had a lot of salads in the last few days and I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm gonna reheat up some of that chicken curry and rice because Mimi made so much of it. I've been eating it for like the last week. So I'm gonna reheat up some of that stuff and then I'll probably take a nap, have some coffee, maybe do a little bit of elite work, um, but just chill for this afternoon, watch some TV. Okay, we got chicken curry. I wanna watch some Modern Family on TV right now. Gucci's just hanging out right here, right next to me. How you doing, Gooch? Good, good to hear. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna take a little nap. The one ringing of our master was the ring of life. Well, that's kind of me, but sure. I'm looking, looking Okay, like usual, I'm gonna take like a 30 or 45 minute nap. And then afterwards, I'll talk about the, uh, the gym routines and soccer-specific gym routines versus non-soccer-specific gym routines. So, buenos no chase. So I'm gonna take this time right now to talk about soccer or football specific training, kind of in general, what that looks like, my experience with that, and how that could look different for different players. But before I get into this topic, I just wanna let you guys know that I'm not a qualified strength and conditioning coach. I'm not even a personal trainer. I'm just a professional soccer player and everything that I'm going to say is just through my experience learning secondhand from strength and conditioning coaches, my own research and my own experience as a professional soccer player that's been working out in the gym for 15 years now. Obviously, always do your own research and always talk to qualified people. So football specific training and general resistance training, I think can be summed up behind the purpose of the workout. Football specific training is pretty much any training that's done in the gym or on the field or wherever that aims to improve the athletic performance of the athlete, lower injury risk, or lengthen out the career of the player. While the purpose behind general resistance training is usually either just to improve strength, just to build a better physique, or just for general health purposes. And as footballers, everything that we do in the gym should obviously be trying to help us as footballers. There are many exercises out there that just don't really help you as a footballer that much. And although many of those exercises aren't necessarily bad, it's more about where you should put your time and energy as a footballer to get the best bang for your buck. Let me give you an example of this when I was 16 to 22 years old. Back then, I definitely, definitely was training to become a better athlete and to improve my performance on the pitch, but I also had exercises or aspects of my program that weren't 100% football specific. I was doing the speed and agility work. I was doing the general strength training with large compound lifts. I was training the movements, but I also was doing bodybuilding type exercises like single arm dumbbell preacher curls for the biceps or skull crushers for the triceps or shrugs to work on my traps or even forearm curls to just get slightly bigger forearms. Were those movements football specific? Were those gonna help me on the field in any way? You could argue that maybe you're trying to keep the full body in balance, but honestly, they're really not that beneficial to you as a footballer. Now, do I think that harmed me as a footballer? Do I think those exercises had a negative impact on me on the field? Honestly, not necessarily, but I do think it had an indirect harm to my game. And this is because you know you have a limited amount of time in the gym. You only go there three, four times a week and you're only in the gym for one to one and a half hours. I shouldn't have focused my limited time and energy on bicep curls, tricep curls, shrugs, or forearm curls, and neglected doing the stuff like balance and stability work, or focusing on injury prevention movements like the Nordic hamstring curls or Copenhagen's. I never did any of that stuff. I never did any prehab stuff. I never did any balance or stability stuff. I really just was in the gym working to become bigger, stronger, and look better. My training regimen was strictly focused around strength, speed, and physique when it should have been strength, speed, mobility, injury prevention, and maybe a little physique at the end. Now, one thing that I do see when it comes to football specific training is that it's gonna be a one size fits all program for everybody. In reality, in my experience, I've seen that it looks very different for different types of players and different ages of players. It's better to look at the player at the individual level and ask yourself, 
what type of workouts are going to translate to the most improvement or the most benefit on the field. And ask yourself, is that getting stronger? Is that getting faster? Is that a combination of multiple areas? Is that injury prevention and balancing out the body? What is going to help this player see the most bang for his buck in the gym? For example, from what I've seen, most younger footballers benefit the most from a very simple general strength training program with aspects of speed, with aspects of strength, with aspects maybe even a little bit of hypertrophy, a well-rounded program to increase the overall athleticism of the player. While some older footballers towards the tail end of their career in the middle of season might do workouts focused around prehab, rehab, and mobility to extend their career and to help prevent injuries in season while not going over with the workload. These two training regimens look extremely different from each other, yet they're both football specific training regimens. Honestly, I think that even hypertrophy style training where you focus on increasing the size of the muscle has a place in a football specific workout. Do I think that you should be working on increasing the size of your forearms and traps and biceps and triceps? No. Do I think that you can work in the gym to build a little bit more muscle if you need that? Yes, 100%. The focus when you're building the muscle just also has to be on, does it perform on the field? Does it do what I need it to do on the field? Another big misconception I see when people think about football specific workouts or functional workouts is that they don't include the big, the main compound exercises like barbell back squats, deadlifts, bench press, rows, stuff like that. Many, many times the boring staple movement like the trap bar deadlift is one of the most beneficial and football specific workouts you can do as a footballer. And most professional teams focus their general strength training program for everybody around those basic movements. And then they add in the stability, they add in the balance, they add in the extras that players need for their problem areas or wherever to kind of round it all out. But most teams focus their routines around those basic movements of, of squatting, of lunging, of jumping, of landing, twisting, pulling, and pushing. Overall, the most football specific workout that you can do as a player is something that's gonna be tailored around your body and you as a footballer to help you perform on the pitch, to help you prevent injuries, and to help you lengthen out your career. And that's gonna have very similar aspects, but it is gonna look different as we go from player to player. So I hope you guys got some, uh, some insight from that. Again, I'm not like a certified strength and conditioning coach, so take it for what it is. That's just my experience with everything. Uh, I'm gonna start cooking right now. I'm gonna cook a huge meal. I'm basically gonna meal prep for the next three or four nights for dinner, and I'm just going to make a big chicken Alfredo pasta with a ton of mushrooms, onions, zucchinis, everything in there. So I'm gonna start cooking, it's gonna take a long time. But after this, I should have dinner for days. Also, if you guys are wondering where Mimi is at, Mimi had to fly back to California. She's doing interior design both here in Tulsa and in San Diego. So she had to go back and do some, some, some in-person interior design work with some clients there. Uh, and so she kind of just gonna stay there for like 10 days, but she should be back in another six, seven days or so. Here we go, what do you guys think? This will be good for a couple meals, huh? <laughs> uh, this is so much pasta. One thing that sucks about Mimi not being here is that we usually have the agreement, whoever cooks, the other person has to do all the cleaning. And I got like three pans, a huge pot, a strainer, and all the utensils I use to cook. So I got to do a lot of dishes tonight. Uh, and I had to do all the cooking. It's a tough life, you know? Anyway, I just threw some, uh, some Alfredo sauce over the pasta and that's dinner. 10 out of 10. Okay, kitchen's all clean, dishes are all done, all the chores are done. Um, now I'm gonna, I'll probably watch a movie. And I'm, I'm feeling something really, really stupid, like Hot Rod, Step Brothers, Dumb and Dumber, something like that. Because there's two genres of movies that Mimi doesn't like. She doesn't like sci-fi, like Star Wars and, and nerdy stuff like that. And she doesn't like stupid humor, like the movies I just listed. So I definitely am gonna watch something stupid like that. I think I'm gonna watch Hot Rod. I haven't seen Hot Rod in a while. It's kind of funny because those are like my two favorite genres and <laughs> maybe just hates them. Other than that, I'm probably gonna have dessert. So I'm gonna probably have like six or seven chocolate chip, little small chocolate chip cookies 
and I'll probably go to bed around 10 o'clock and then uh, got the inner squad scrimmage tomorrow. So that should be good. But anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.